So my name's Sam and I am the lead product designer here at Accelerate. It's, it's really relevant for anyone who is interested or has experience with um, e-learning and that sort of thing. So yeah, it's, it should be pretty much, if you work at an RTO, you should be pretty familiar with um, the different types of e-learning and sort of how you create them and what you can include. So um, I think it's just, yeah, creating more options which are um, more in line with, you know, normal or purely e-learning based authoring tools. We also did it in a way where we really focused on uh, making it work well on mobile devices as well. Nice. So that's been a, yeah, a focus of all the new question types as well, making sure they respond nicely on a small device. Yeah, so Mark the Regions, it's really about identifying homogenous um, content within a particular image. So if you had to label both wheels on the bicycle, then that would be a good one for Mark the Regions. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. And what about label the regions? Yep, so label the regions basically lets you create a region and give it a name. Yeah. Um, and then the student will see the name as a label on their end, which then they have to place um, correctly in the region that you've created on the authoring side. Cool. The matching list is, yeah, basically about creating a list of either images or definitions and having the student choose correctly um, the term which matches up to either um, an image or yeah, a definition provided. Cool. Yep, so ordering's um, a pretty simple one, but can be a really awesome tool to evaluate knowledge of um, different processes or orders that um, certain actions must be performed in. So you'll set up the list in the correct order and the learner will then receive a jumbled version which they'll have to rearrange into the correct order. Question 10 of your quiz um, is, yeah, upload this document which you needed to fill out and we want to include that as part of this assessment but we didn't want to give that particular upload like a whole assessment which is yeah. what you had to do um, previously. Yeah. Yeah, so the new content type um, previously, within assessments, every item that you included um, had to be accessible in some form. So content basically just removes that restriction and lets you add um, whatever you like in those steps in a HTML format, um, as you normally would in the editor. So videos, images, text, it doesn't really matter. Um, when the student views that in the learn portal, they'll just have to read it and then press next, rather than have to respond to it in any way. Sweet.